Welcome, today we are going to delve into the story of the White Knight. Everything begins with Batman chasing the Joker, who is skating on the street. Batman manages to successfully chase the Joker to a warehouse. Then Joker tries to hit Batman from the shadows, but Batman quickly punches him. Joker falls and starts to talk to Batman, saying that they are a team. One stands for love and the other for hate, and they can't live without each other. Batman has had enough of him and starts to beat him. But then others come who were helping Batman chase the Joker, Gordon, Barbara, and Nightwing. Joker says Gotham's greatest villain is Batman, but Batman continues to brutally punch him and says, just stop talking. Joker pulls out a bottle of pills and says, with these pills, I will be able to make Gotham a better place than any of you and to show you everything I see. But behind everybody, someone films how GCPD is watching as Batman beats the Joker and says to him, you want to get better? And forcefully spills the bottle into Joker's mouth. The video blows up immediately and it seems that the pills worked. Joker says that when he gets better after the beat-up, he will sue the GCPD, Batman, and the city. The mayor is furious at Gordon, a cop who is against corruption in the police department, but that cop is so willing to let a vigilante do his work for him. The Joker has a real name now, Jack Napier, and he presents his case to Gordon, saying that he is not guilty of anything. The only one who is guilty is Batman. Napier says Batman is the one who drives an unlicensed tank and injured three people with it. And it was Batman who beat him almost to death. Gordon adds that Batman does not work for the GCPD. Jack says the GCPD is the one who lets this criminal do what he wants. And GCPD has a signal that is used when you need him. Then he says, Gotham deserves someone better than GCPD, better than the Joker, and better than the Dark Knight. So I am going to be her White Knight. Napier stood before the court recounting his journey to Gotham as an immigrant seeking a better life. However, upon arriving in the city, he soon realized the harsh realities and succumbed to a life of crime. Jack also highlighted how crime often thrives due to the manipulation of criminals by the police, who inadvertently turn them into supervillains to perpetuate the cycle of crime. Returning home, Napier was met by Harley, who pleaded for him to abandon his pills and become the Joker again. Their conversation was interrupted by another Harley who revealed herself as the original. She had orchestrated a coup against the Joker without his awareness. Harley tells her story from the beginning. When she joined him, her reasons for doing so were that she wanted an escape from her boring life. But she started feeling overshadowed by the Joker's obsession with Batman. She left him, especially after Jason Todd's kidnapping, which prompted her to seek Batman's help. Determined to aid Napier, now restored to his true self as Jack, in his quest to improve Gotham, the original Harley resolved to support him in making the city a better place. Meanwhile, Bruce found himself at a party where he encountered Pierce who disclosed a disturbing revelation. The rich were profiting from bat impact zones, areas damaged during Batman's battles that led to decreased real estate values, allowing the wealthy to purchase properties at lower prices and sell them at a profit. This revelation fueled Bruce's anger, affirming Napier's criticisms of him. Elsewhere, Jack utilized mind-controlling cards from the Mad Hatter to mind-control Clayface, turning him into sand. Jack then orchestrated a meeting with numerous Gotham villains, subtly controlling them by lacing their drinks with the sand, solidifying his control over the criminal underworld. Then he lets them all out to make chaos and the whole Bat family goes to stop them. All that chaos will be bad for Batman because everybody will think that he is the one responsible for all the destruction. But Jack wanted something else. When everything is clear, he goes to the law offices of Hill & Hill, the corrupted firm that is used by the mayor. Jack finds a lot of secret information that he can use. He goes in front of live television and says something that the people don't know. The city received an insurance policy around $3 billion for Batman's destruction to the city. But this money was never spent back on the city Meanwhile, Bruce goes home, but he is seriously injured and passes out in front of Alfred. Alfred, who has McGregor syndrome, passes away saving Bruce's life. Then we see the other Harley, who found the mind-controlled villains. After all this, we see Napier is going to run for a councilman. Jack starts a conversation with Gordon and tells him that if he is elected as councilman, he will give money to the GCPD to build a special task force, a squad of super cops. That means that Jack wants to make the Bat family a cop unit to remove the whole vigilante thing away. But Batman, for sure, will not join this unit. Then, after all the bad things, Jack and Harley go on a date. 
And at the end of it, Harley proposes to him to get married, and Jack accepts. Meanwhile, the other Harley, who calls herself the Neo Joker, starts a riot with the help of the mind-controlled villains. She goes to Jack's apartment, trying to get her Joker back. And we learn that she was working at a bank when Joker robbed it and took her as a hostage and kidnapped her. After all that, she becomes the new Harley Quinn. She leaves Jack, and we also learn from stolen GCPD data that Mr. Freeze, a Nazi, has a connection with the Wayne family. Later, we see Jack and Harley training, and Jack's pills are making him sick because he is coughing blood. After this, we see Neo Joker trying to break into Wayne Manor for more information. But that starts a fight with Batman and the new Super Cups. In the battle, Bruce finds a picture with Freeze and his family and goes to Freeze for some questioning. After this, we see Gordon and Napier talking to Nightwing, who is part of the Super Cops. Jack announced that Batman must be arrested and Gordon asks Dick for Batman's real identity, but Dick refuses, but he is willing to help them arrest him. When Barbara hears that, she says, I can't believe you, Dick, you are willing to betray him for a reformed Joker and that she does not want to be a part of this. So after this, they make a plan how to capture Batman and they chase him with old Batmobile to a warehouse where they use a EMP to affect his Batmobile. But Batman manages to escape, and when he thinks he is clear, he encounters Napier. They start fighting, but Batman's injuries from the chase makes him too weak, and Napier wins the fight. Jack carries his body to Gordon and lock him in Arkham. Meanwhile, we see Neo Joker as she found a giant freeze weapon and shoots it into the city. Barbara talks with Freeze about his past. Freeze tells her that he teamed up with the Waynes to create a healing machine, and we learn that Alfred called Freeze to save Bruce before he dies. Barbara asks Freeze how to stop the giant weapon, but Freeze tells her that his father created it, and he doesn't know. Later, we see Harley telling Jack that he has lost control over everything, and that he is not Batman, and that he can't be like him. Jack calls a meeting with the GCPD and the Super Cops, and they ask him what they should do. Neo Joker only wants the Joker. Napier loses control, and the Joker is back. Jack takes control back immediately, and he meets Neo Joker. He tells her that if she wants the Joker back, it will be done his way and leaves. Then Harley sees that Jack is not well, and she tells him to do something that Joker will never do, to team up with Batman. Napier goes to Batman, and Batman agrees, but only if Jack gives up for his crimes after the fight. Jack says that he is not the Joker, and he made Gotham a better place. Batman tells him that he broke the law, and Jack tells him that so did he. After this, in the Batmobile, Napier tells Batman that Joker let Jason go, but he left because Batman did not save him. Jack once again holds a meeting, but before that, Batman speaks with Freeze, and he tells him about tunnels that were made by his father and the wanes that can be used to reach Neo Joker. Everyone goes to the tunnels except Jack, who is going to distract Neo Joker. But in the Batmobile, Joker takes control over Napier. Joker offers Batman his help because he just wants to take out Neo Joker. Batman agrees and a big fight starts with the whole GCPD and vigilantes fighting Neo Joker and her army of villains. Joker finds Harley in the battlefield and turns back to Jack, telling her that she was the only person that was there for him and he loves her. Then Neo Joker arrives and Jack sacrifices himself but ejects Harley before he dies. Harley goes after Neo Joker and fights her. Harley totally destroys Neo Joker and almost kills her. But before she stabs her, she learns that Jack is alive and stops. So Harley captures Neo Joker and hugs Jack. Napier surrenders and goes to Arkham for his crimes. But before they lock him up, he and Harley have a marriage ceremony. The priest asks Harley, do you take Jack to marry you? Harley says, I do. But before Jack says it, he turns to Joker and says, I do. Later, we learn that Harley was the one who created the pills for Jack. Batman talks with her and tells her that actually, this whole time she was the White Knight. Harley is surprised and says, you are good, Bats. Even Jack didn't know about this. Batman tells her, who do you think told me? Harley is surprised again, but tells Batman that he and the Joker were destroying the city and someone needed to stop all this. After that, Batman goes to Gordon and tells him that the only way he and the city will trust him is by revealing his real identity. And that's the end. Thank you for watching. 
If you enjoyed what I do, like and subscribe.